Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. Today I'm going to do, show you how I do a Destructed Blooms. This is my second one that I'm attempting. I'm gonna try it, try again. So let's see how it goes. I'm not sure if you guys liked my other one. Some of you did, some of you didn't. But uh, anyway, I don't know if it's the colors or the design or what it is, but I got my inspiration from Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. She does, she does these blooms also. I think she invented them, actually. <laughs> Anyways, it's it's an acquired likeness. It's uh, very abstract. All right, so let's... This is my Glidden Premium that I just put down. Just trying to make sure all my paint is level. All right, well, today's colors are phalo green. This is, um, which one did I use? I used phalo green by Amsterdam, and it's also Windsor Newton phalo green. It needs a little bit of water. Just um, mix these two up. This is my water and varnish mixture. pretty good. I've got some sea mist by this little piggy and macaw mixed together just to use up these two. Not very much there. Pibio gold. Pinwheel by this little piggy. Um, Windsor and Newton Windsor violet. And some Amsterdam blue violet and blue topaz. I think this has got some pinwheel in it also. I mixed them all together. All right, decisions, decisions. I think I'll put some gold in the middle. I think I'll do three. some of this on top Let's see all right now I think I'll put I'll put some field green now I need some purple as I got three purples so oh no this is pinwheel I thought the other one had pinwheel in it but this is pinwheel this piggy pinwheel I'll do a uh, phalo green. Mm. I got two purples left. Go put 
the Windsor and Newton next to the Phil Green. Now put the macaw, macaw and sea glass. Just thought I would try mixing two together. It's an interference with macaw. This is some um, Amsterdam blue violet and blue topaz. It's a pretty color. Put a little bit of gold on top. Yes, I do. Just in case my other gold doesn't show, put a little bit. debating if I should just use black. Yeah, I think I'll just use black. No, you know what? I'm going to try white and black. Let me roll this one out first. I should have made up some more black. I'm almost out. I wonder if I should... Here's my <clears throat> Where is my mini bear? That looks really pretty. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Interesting. I should have made a bigger puddle, I think. Colors are nice.
gonna blow this. These colors are so pretty. Had a lot of weight there, but... Okay, so that's come back. That's pretty much come back. This needs to come back a little more. And what I thought I might do was modify it and then stretch it. Because these um, deconstructed blooms don't look like a bloom when I'm finished. It just looks like abstract art. So I might put some lines through it. I put the gold on the top because we got gold down in the middle and then we got the gold outline which is nice All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's just do the outside. see what we get. Let's hope it uh, stretches evenly is what I'm hoping. Let's see if it's all moving. Looks like it's a little stuck there. The middle's moving really good. I think I got that unstuck. I got that unstuck, I think.
All right. I'm going to go down this way. One side seems to be moving faster than the other side. Okay, let's go this way. Let some of it run off. some of the weight off this corner on the left, my left. I'm going to come back this way a little more and then maybe it's good. a lot of white in this corner. I probably should have gone here first. It's hardly moving now. But it's getting there. Oh, this middle is moving. Keep doing this until I get this corner, some of this weight off, and then I'll come back. There. And I'll come back. This middle bloom is really getting stretched. Colors are super, super nice. I'm glad I put that sea glass in there. Just gave it a little more contrast. sides. What do you 
think of these colors? Do you think it's smoothed enough now? I think the composition is pretty good now. What do you think? I think I like the way the swirls have gone. It just gives it a different, different look. Still moving quite a bit. I'll go down this way a little more. Okay, let that come down a bit. I just hooked that over and that just kept that there a little more. Break up the white. This isn't moving any more at all. I like how these two corners have the cells a little bit in the middle. I don't think I'm I think I'm okay with this. Still a lot of paint here. This seems to be moving. I don't know why. Maybe I'll go like this and then I'll tilt it this way. Some of that paint's coming off there. That's good. And there was too much paint there. Now I need to bring this back as a stretch too much now. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. Oh. It's messy. Bring this down and then I should be good.
I'm going to come this corner again. This corner is messed up here. I'll let some of these cells come off. This does take a lot of time. Just a little bit more. I think I'm good. I filled that in. That's good. This is still bunched up quite a bit here. I don't know if I can. Maybe if I go like this, some of this might come down. Okay, what do you think? Let's see how this looks now. Let me have a look at it. Yeah, I think it's balanced a little better now. And I think I'm going to leave this one. I would have liked a little more weight coming off here, but I don't know can get to that point. Try going this way a bit and see if it moves. No, it's not moving. It's probably enough pain already off. There. I think I'm going to leave this. I think it's good. What do you think? The colors are awesome. Well, I hope you like this one. I do. I really do. Give it a try. So all it is is tilting. Well, you got to do the bloom first. Anyway, I like the swirlies in it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Come back to Carol's Art Room. I'll put the dried result at the end of the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications and comment below. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Here's my dried 11 by 14 
destructed bloom or what a uh, deconstructed blooms. Yeah, these are sure different. All right. I don't know whether I like it this way. This way. It's kind of cool. I like that way. Let's see how it looks this way. Or this way. I think I like this one vertical. There. There you go. Dry pretty good. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and come back to Carol's Air Room. Bye.